Hey Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a favorite button functionality to your Divi website. So this is the final design we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Okay, so before we get started, let's go through the things that we are going to need in order for us to achieve this design. So first of all, you're going to need the Divi theme, of course, and it needs to be installed and activated. And then we're also going to need the favorites plugin. I'll also have a link in the show notes below, or I'll also link you to the post, which will have all this uh, information. And uh, finally, we're going to be using the animal shelter layout pack. All right, so over here I am on my admin, I'm in my admin dashboard. So we're going to start off by adding our plugin. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here to plugins, click on add new. So the plugin that we need is called the favorites plugin. So the easiest way to get it is to come over here and search for it. So I'm going to search for it. And this is the plugin right here. I'm going to click install now. Okay, so now that it's installed, I'm going to go ahead now and activate it. Right, so the next thing you need to do is to go into the settings of the plugin. So I'm going to click on settings. Okay, so now in the settings, what we need to do is to come over here to the third tab, display and post types, and we need to activate projects. And then over here, all the way to the right, we have the settings button. So click on settings, and we need to check and uncheck a few things. So over here where it says insert favorite button before content, we need to make sure that this is unchecked. And also this one here for after content needs to be unchecked. But uh, on the bottom here on the meta, this needs to be activated. So like that. And then over here on show favorite content admin columns, we need to also check that box. Right. So the next thing we need to do is to come over here to the favorite button content and appearance. So on the button here, we need to uh, make sure that this is set to a link like that. And the button type, you can set this to whatever you want. So in this case, let's choose favorite. Okay. Right. So now let's go and uh, make some changes to our color options. So I'm going to click here to specify custom colors. And let's start off with the background color. So in here, I'm going to click here and paste my hexadecimal value. So this one's going to be white. So I'm going to set that to white. Next, I'm going to come over here to the border color. And I'm going to paste my hexadecimal value in there like that. Then moving on, we are going to need our text color. So our text color is going to be the same as our border color. So I'm just going to paste the same value and the icon color as well. So I'm going to come over here and finally add my icon color. Right. So if you want to use the same colors as I'm using in this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Now let's move on to the active button state. So here we're going to add our background color. So I'm going to paste it here as well, like that. Next, I'm going to go to the border color. So I'm going to uh, click here and add my border color like that. And then for my text color and icon color, we are going to use white because uh, as you can see, our background color is a solid color. So let's add white here as our text color and icon color. In fact, right now, it's a bit uh, difficult to visualize how this will look like because all I'm doing is adding the colors, but you will see how it will look like soon. Right, so now let's take a look at the preview here. So you can see that this is what it looks like. If I click on it, there you go. So you can see now this is the reverse, right? So that's how it's going to look like. Right, so the next thing we need to do is to customize the favorite listing display. So I'm going to scroll down here, and this is where it is. I'm going to click here in the checkbox and then all the way here I'm going to click on settings so on the list wrapper uh, on the list wrapper elements I'm going to click this drop down and choose div and then over here on the single list element I'm also going to make sure that this is set to div right so what we need to do next we need to uh, come over here to the single listing content markup so to activate all the settings we need to click in the checkbox like that now over here on the post fields, we need to make sure that this is set to thumbnail, thumbnail, like that. Okay, next, you, all you want to do is to click on add, and this will add this short code into this area right here. Now, let's change this and uh, make it post title. So I'm going to come, uh, I'll come over here and choose post title, and then I'm going to click on add so that we have this short code here on the bottom. So this short code here will show the post title of the post. 
So again, if you plan on adding excerpts onto this, all you have to do is to come over here as well and uh, click the drop down and select excerpt and then click add. So all these short codes will display all the content that we need. Okay, so now that we have our fields in place, we can wrap our thumbnail and post title in an A tag in order to turn it into a link. So let me show you how that looks like. So this is how the HTML should look like. So if you want to uh, copy this HTML code, again, it's on the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. Okay, so now that we're done, all we have to do is to click on Save Changes. Okay, so the next thing we need to do now is to create our project post. So I'm going to come over here to Projects and click on Add New. I'm going to call this Mabel. So the next thing we need to do now that we've added our title, we need to add a featured image. So I'm going to come over here to set featured image. So I would need a, a, an image of a cat or an animal. So in fact, you know what? I'm just going to go with this one. Okay, so I'm going to select it. Click on set featured image. And then we want to add some text to the excerpt because uh, we have that as a short code. So we want this content to show. So I'm going to paste my content here in the excerpt area. And then I want to click on publish. So now that everything is all set, now we have on our project, we have our featured image, and we have our except. So these are the three things that are going to be shown. So let's go ahead now and import the layout page. Okay, so now that we have everything, the next thing we need to do now is to load the layout. So I'm going to go to my home page and load my layout on that page. So I'm going to click on visit site. And as you can see, this is blank. I'm going to click on enable visual builder. Okay, so we're going to load our layout pack. So I'm going to come all the way down here to the bottom to expand settings. Click on that. Click the plus button. And the animal shelter is the layout pack we're going to need. So I'm going to scroll all the way down here because I think I saw it somewhere down here. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to select it. And the page that we're going to need is this one right here. So I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to click on use this layout. So this is going to take a while to load. So the next thing we're going to do is to come all the way to the top and delete this section because we don't need it. So I'm going to delete that. And then we want our, our button, our favorites button to show here. So all we have to do now is to use our shortcode. And let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to click this plus button to add our module. So our module is going to be the text modules. I'm going to select it. And then we're going to replace this dummy text with our shortcode just like that. Okay, so now we can see our button is now showing. And then over here, what you want to do is to make a few adjustments to that. So I'm going to click on Design, Text. So this is where you can also change the font. So in this case, let's use a font called Laura. So I'm going to select it. And then for the font weight, we're going to choose Bold. And uh, notice here that uh, I'm making all my changes here and everything is changing over here. So you just need to make sure that you don't override the uh, the colors because the colors that we chose here are already set in the plugin. So everything else you can play around with. So over here on the size as well, you can make this button big. But for this tutorial, we're going to save it at say, save it at about 16 pixels. Okay, so now that we have all that, we can go ahead now and save. And then I am going to save the page as well. Okay, so let's take a look and see if the button is working now. So if I come over here and click it, now you can see that it's changed the color and this has been favored. Okay, and then if I click it again, I can unfavor it like that. Right, so this is the most basic usage of the shortcode. There are a few additional parameters that you can add to the shortcode to customize the functionality. You can also check those uh, on the plugin page or on their main website for more examples and shortcodes. But as you can see, this uh, plugin is very flexible and you can customize it to however you, however you like. You can actually be even more creative. You can create a page and list your favorites. So using that short code, you can always just enter that code onto that page. And this uses a cookie system. So when people go to that page, they can see that that page has been favored. So go ahead, try, out, try it out and create a new page and add this short code onto your page so people can start favoring and unfavoring things on your website. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.